Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. Uh, in my previous video, I discussed about the octal number system. Uh, in our discussion related to number systems. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about the hexadecimal number system. So we'll discuss first its uh, basic characteristics and then we'll have some more uh, discussion about the uh, how this whole number system it works. Now, uh, the hexadecimal number system has uh, 16 distinct or unique symbols available which are used to represent any number or any hexadecimal number. Okay, so this coded representation, okay, this code of a number system it has 16 symbols available with it. The binary system had two symbols, the octal system it had eight symbols, the decimal system it had ten symbols and the hexadecimal as the name suge suggests it has <coughs> 16 distinct symbols. Hexa means six and decimal means 10, so combined that's 16 distinct symbols. That's why the base or radix of this system is equal to 16. Now there is something particularly interesting about this number system which makes it different from the other number system that is the binary, the octal and the decimal. Okay, so the symbols that are used in this uh, hexadecimal number system they are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, up to this it goes as usual. Okay, as it happened in the decimal up to 9. But what after that? Because you cannot write 1, 0 because 0 is already present here. 1 is already present here. You cannot write 11 because 1 is already present here. So, it will create confusion. So, in order to avoid that confusion, <coughs> the remaining 6 symbols, okay, the remaining 6 symbols from 10 to 15, they were represented with the help of alphabets. Okay, to avoid that confusion, the remaining six symbols after nine, they were represented using alphabets. Ten was represented by the alphabet A. So, wherever you find A, it means it is a hexadecimal number system and it means one zero, means ten. Next, eleven was represented using B, the alphabet B. Twelve was represented using the alphabet C. 13 with D, 14 with E and finally 15 with F. Okay, So, this unique characteristic, this feature of the hexadecimal number system makes it different from the other popular number systems that is the binary, the octal and the decimal. And that is why for this reason because of the use of alphabets to represent the symbols that are involved in a hexadecimal number system, it is also called as alpha numeric number system. Okay? The hexadecimal number system is also called as alpha numeric number system. So, uh, here we have discussed some of the basic introductory characteristics about the hexadecimal number system that it has 16 distinct symbols. So, the base or radix is equal to 16. The unique feature of hexadecimal number system is that it uses alphabets to represent symbols after 9 up to 15, the remaining 6 using A, B, C, D, E, F and that is why because of the use of alphabets, it is also called as the alphanumeric number system. So, let us just discuss uh, how uh, 
Now, the hexadecimal number system is also a positional number system, okay? It is also a positional number system similar to binary, decimal and octal. It means that each position, the position of each symbol from this uh, collection in a number, in a hexadecimal number will have a certain weight value associated with it and that weight value, it depends on the position of that symbol in that number. So, let's see how that works, okay? We'll see now how that works. Now, let us see how the positioning or the weight system, okay? It works in the hexadecimal number system. So, <clears throat> let us take a hexadecimal number, let's say, uh, I'm using small alphabets, okay, so let us just take a number, okay, x, y, and z, okay, x, y, z, where x, y, and z, it lies in between 0 to f, okay, 0 to f, means 0 to 15, as f is used for 15. Okay? So, x, y, z must lie in between 0 and f, that is 0 and 15, because only these 16 symbols are allowed in hexadecimal number system. Okay? So, this z it has the weight value as 16 to the power 0 okay this y it has weight value associated as 16 to the power 1 this x it has weight value associated as 16 to the power so, if we write this uh, number, we can write it as x, okay, into 16 to the power 2 plus y into 16 to the power 1 plus z into 16 to the power 0. <coughs> Okay, this, the position of x, y and z determines their weight in a given hexadecimal number. Now, another important thing here is that whenever you write any number, any hexadecimal number, I have already uh, told you that whenever you write any number, particularly in the digital electronic subject and the number systems chapter you already uh, you you always you have to mention the base or the radix okay sometimes the hexadecimal number is also represented by this xyz means whatever is the number and then leaving some space the letter h it is also means that it is a hexadecimal number x, y, z. So, either way it is correct. Okay? So, when there is a fractional part involved, let us say uh, x, y, z dot u and v. Okay, then this u, it has weight value associated as 16 to the power minus 1. This v, it has weight value associated as 16 to the power minus 2. And I already told you this x, y, z, they have weight value 16 to the power 0, 16 to the power 1 and 16 to the power 2. This point is called as the hexadecimal point. 
okay in binary it is called as binary point in octal it is called as octal point in decimal number system it is called as decimal point and in hexadecimal number system it is hexadecimal point okay now it can be written as x into 16 part 2 plus y into 16 to the power 1 plus z into 16 power 0 plus u into 16 to the power minus 1 or 1 by 16 plus v into 16 to the power minus 2. Okay, so you can represent a hexadecimal number in this way. Okay. Now let us uh, uh, consider some uh, examples of numbers that are uh, allowed in hexadecimal number system. Okay. So, what can be allowed in the hexadecimal number system? So, it must contain the symbols in between 0 and f. So, numbers that can be allowed are 1, 0, 2, h means it is a hexadecimal number all the symbols they are in between 0 and f another can be uh, let us say 7 8 7 h you can also write this as 1 0 2 base 16 7 8 7 base 16 so the other numbers that uh, can be allowed they can be 985 or you can write as a b 0 okay h you can also write it in this way a b 0 a means 10 b means 11 and this 0 means 0 okay this is 10 this is 11 and this is 0. Another thing which can be allowed is 1 f 0 or it can be let us say a b 1 the hexadecimal point 7 6 it can be anything but the symbols they must be in between 0 and f ok. They must be in between 0 and f. Another thing can be 7, 6, 0 point a, b. Let us say it is in between 0 and f. So, no problem. Okay. So, always consider that. There should be no symbol other than these uh, symbols. These 16 available symbols that are allowed in hexadecimal number system. Okay. So, here we have discussed some of the basic introductory concepts associated with hexadecimal number system. So, I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical, electronics, instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.